Did you know that you can help manage your emotions through physical movement of your body? Head on over to couchtoactive.com forward slash emotions and get your free guide today. Hey, hey there, friends. It's your bad couch guru, Lynn Lemberg. And today uh, I'm recording our episode live uh, on here. Uh, I don't know why. Just sound like it would be fun. <laughs> okay, today we are talking about asking for help. And we did this once before, but we're going to look at this again because I think this is going to be really important this fall and this winter when times are even more tough. And right now, when uh, the Seattle, you know, Washington, Oregon, California, we all just finally got done with the wildfires. Oh my gosh, the wildfires uh, still going on, but the smoke is cleared, at least for us in Oregon, Washington. Uh, now we may feel like, oh, we should all be feeling great and hunky dory, but uh, I got to tell you, that's not really how life works and is working right now. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to, I want you to think about this in context of exercise, but give yourself the freedom to think about it in context of whatever you may need help with. So pause with exercise and think about what makes you the most frustrated. Boom. The gym is closed or I hate the gym or I don't like to exercise or I just have no energy, blah, 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 whatever it is. The first thing that comes down in your mind, write it down and then think, who are the three people in your life that you can propose this problem to? And I got to tell you, if done with a positive attitude, if done with an intent to really solve it, people cannot help but to give you help. People love solving problems or giving advice to other people. So you are ultimately in control of what advice you take or don't take. And you are ultimately in control over whether or not that advice they give you triggers you positively or negatively or not at all. So so take control of all of that for yourself. Really own it. And then pose the problem to whoever it is. So for example, for me personally, my biggest thing is inertia. And I like to say, I just feel tired. So what I'm going to do is think of a minimum of two people in my life, maybe three, and say, when I need to exercise, I usually feel tired and it's hard for me to get motivated. What can I do to help this? Can you help me with this? So I did this with my husband, which is an easy one to do for me because I'm so grateful that the husband is my second husband. Uh, <laughs> I'm so grateful he supports me. And so when I told him, I am really struggling uh, with inertia because just holy moly, what a summer, what a fall. Uh, he's been aware of it and more encouraging the last week or two, which has been awesome. I also have another good friend that I went walking with yesterday. Thank you, my dear friend. Uh, and we both know inertia is a thing and getting away from our desks is a thing. It's a thing, folks. It's a thing. And so we make plans to walk hills together because that is what's going to get us uh, going. And um, for that one, uh, I don't actually have a third one except for all y'all. <laughs> Knowing you're out there helps me. Uh, so that's what I want you to do. Think about what's the number one barrier that comes to mind for you today for exercise or this week. And then think of two or three people pose it to them and say, hey, I'm struggling with motivation. I'm struggling with inertia. I'm struggling with just a bad attitude. I And, and like, let can you help me brainstorm? Let's brainstorm ways I can overcome this in a way that'll also help me smile and not just feel cruddy even more. All right, there we go. That is asking for help. Get yourself used to asking for help. Don't be ashamed to ask for help. Go out there, ask your friends for help. They want to help you. You want to help them. Let's all help each other out. Yeah. And that is going to be one more baby step that'll get us going on our active lifestyle. With a smile though, no shame, no guilt, with a smile. All right. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. We will see you tomorrow, probably about the same time. Bye-bye now. 
Couch to Active's number one goal is to help you fill the gap between knowing you should exercise consistently and actually getting it done with a smile. Head on over to couchtoactive.com. Get the course, get the book, get going today at couch2active.com.